Well, I just want to say how excited I am to be here today and that she's here. It's extraordinary and it's tribute to Oldham, to the town of Oldham, that this has happened. Um, you know, and that this remarkable woman is finally being given the recognition that she deserves. And I'm just really pleased that you didn't go with Winston Churchill. <laughs> I would have been here today if you had gone with Winston Churchill and I don't think many of the rest of you would have been too. Now, what's so extraordinary, and it's what was said in the production, is that Oldham shaped Annie Kenny. It was a town of Oldham, it was the people of Oldham. And so many people applaud Emily Pankhurst. And, well, oh, actually, actually, Silver Pankhurst is, is, is my favourite Pankhurst. <laughs> but for me, it's the working class suffragettes who made the biggest sacrifice. As Hannah Mitchell said, it was done with one hand tied behind them. They didn't have the luxury and privilege. They didn't have staff that the likes of the Pankhurst did. They had to work hard, grueling work, and as we know, as we've just learned, and I'm sure many of you, Annie lost a finger, starting part-time work at 10, full-time work in the factory at 14. Now, for me, it's these bright, brilliant, brave women who made the biggest sacrifice. These are the women with the most to lose. And as we look forward to 2019, and all the struggles that it may throw up, we must remember Annie Kenny and her guiding light, and it should encourage and embolden us all, not just the women of this community and this nation, but everybody who has suffered injustice. And let's face it, there's a lot of those people about. So we stand together as Oldham, as a community, as the Northwest, as a nation, you should be extremely proud. I'm really extremely proud. And as a Boltonian, today I wish I came from Oldham. So, thank you very much. And here's to Annie Kelly.